So I'm just going to show a uh, quick little video on welding some quick little stainless. This is some three inch stainless. It's not, it's like Chinese stainless, so it's not the best quality, but it is stainless and it welds pretty good. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to purge it. I did one earlier, just a small little joint. I do about one of these a day, even if I'm not welding anything, just to practice and not be rusty, but I'll show you. I'll show you that real quick. You can see from the light. But I did a section. See, this all pretty much looks the same. And I did a section inside of about, I don't know, like a three inch section without purging. And I'll show you that when I'm done of what the, direct, what the drastic difference is with purging and non-purging. So let's, uh, let's hook up the purge. Purges hooked up, and I'm gonna let it purge. I don't know, probably like five CFH for a couple minutes. Not even minutes. I'm gonna let it purge for it's it's three to five. I'll let it purge for I don't know a minute to two minutes, and I'll just keep welding because this is such a small piece of tubing. It's gonna get purged pretty much like. Quick, not pretty much, but you know, so you get purged quick. You don't have to wait five, ten minutes for it to purge. So, um, we just got another piece of wire, some acetone, real quick. Wipe the joint. I already done this, but this is another precaution. Uh, wipe your filler rod. Oh, I always make a habit to wipe it, especially on aluminum and titanium. Um, I don't know if you can see those, those little, those are from the filler rod. I'm um, using, this is stainless, stainless filler. And uh, 36 diameter, 380. I'm using 42 amps on the gas, it's personal preference, I'm using a um, 16 cup, about 30 CFH of gas, it's already tacked up, so we're just going to start welding. Let me, let me flush the gas out real quick. So I spiked the purge um, to like 15 CFH for like 10 seconds just to flush any remainder, remaining uh, oxygen out. And we're gonna start welding. Post flow is uh, eight, seven, six, seven, eight. I don't know how, what I have said to. Now this joint is gonna get a little hot. So around halfway through, I'm gonna stop and let it cool for a bit. Cause it's such a small piece of metal. Now I'll continue this and uh, put you guys on a time lapse and let you watch. This is going to take four or five minutes. So I'll bring you back when I'm done.
Welcome back guys, I got about one weld left and then I'll show you guys the inside and what the purge looks like. Alright, just finished it. Now, I said I was going to take a break halfway through and let it cool down. I decided not to, just because I didn't feel like waiting, but uh, let me shut off my purge. Purge is off, let me take off my line. It's a little hot, but I'll try my best to show you uh, the outside and the inside. So, I don't know if you can see there. Pretty good looking beads. Take off the uh, the purge caps, and I'll show you guys. Okay, this, by the way, these are uh, 850 fab purge caps. They're real nice. I think they're called purge lock now, but they work great. So let me get a pair of pliers. So, this is what a properly back purged weld looks like on the inside. And then, as you can see, the top over here is the one I didn't back purge uh, last time. And you can see that's real cruddy, sticks out. And then you can see the silver and silver ones all back purged. So, yeah. There's some good back purge, good penetration. So yeah, just a quick little video. Hope you guys enjoy.